Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I bring you a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate mini battery from LipPulse. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we got. All right, when you first open it up, you get a plastic baggie and a little piece of styrofoam. And in this bag, you get a product manual and a join with us uh, kind of brochure. It's like a service card. You get two sets of terminal bolts. One looks like it's probably either a half inch or three quarters of an inch. And then the other one is either three quarters of an inch or an inch. So two different sizes. That's always nice to see. You'll want this if you're putting multiple conductors on, you'll want to have these longer bolts. All right, and then we have the battery. All right, first things first, I kind of like how this battery is wrapped in plastic. That way it's just better protected from everything. It also has post covers right here, which are nice to see. And the posts are a little bit raised up and it does have handles, which makes it nice and easy to carry. All right, the front of the battery says Lipples uh, Mini LiPo 4, 1280 watt hours. That equates from a 12 volt, 100 amp hour battery. Uh, nominal voltage is 12.8 volts, 100 amp hours. Lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery, power life with Lipples. It also gives you the website, the contact information, and the provider of the battery. The case looks like it is made out of ABS plastic, so it's probably IP65 rated. And the cells that are inside are prismatic. They are not pouch cells for this small of a battery. That's really nice to see. If you wanted to buy multiples of these batteries, you uh, can totally buy up to 16 of them. You can do four of them in parallel to make a 12 volt, 400 amp hour battery bank. And then you can do that four times to get a 48 volt, 400 amp hour bank, which equals like, that's over 20, thousand watt hours which is incredible all right let's talk about the physical dimensions of this mini battery it is nine inches across that is 229 millimeters it's 5.4 inches deep which would be 138 millimeters and it is 8.35 inches tall and that is 212 millimeters give or take two millimeters and it weighs in at 20.89 pounds or 9.48 kilograms. When it comes to the BMS or battery management system inside, it does have a 100 amp BMS. And that does mean that it can do 100 amps charging and 100 amps discharging, which is nice to see. Because sometimes 100 amp BMSs, you can only do 50 amp charging and 100 amp discharge. But this can do 100 and 100. Uh, even though when charging, you really should do a 0.2C charge rate, which would be about 20 amps. It also has a peak surge discharge rate of 200 amps for three seconds. So we'll be testing that in a little bit. And when it comes to low voltage disconnect, this can be drained down to 9.2 volts before the BMS shuts off to protect the cells. And then it will automatically reconnect. All right, now that you know about the specifications of this battery, what should you do when you first get it? You should check the voltage to make sure that the battery is operational. So let's go ahead and do that now. And this one is 3.23, so that is perfect. Uh, you want that because that means that they're storing it properly and that they're shipping it properly. The next thing you want to do now that you know the battery is fully operational is you want to charge it all the way up to 100%. And then if you have the capability, do a discharge test to make sure that you're getting the 100 amp hours that you paid for. So I'll go ahead and charge this up and then I'll do a discharge test to let you know what the results are. All right, well, the capacity test is done for the Lip Pulse 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. And you can see right down here that the capacity is 105.02 amp hours. So 5% higher than what it is rated. And I also wanna show you that up here in the first 10% of the battery, it's still at 13.037 volts. And at the 90th percentile of the battery, so only 10% left, it's still at 12.456 volts. Only about six tenths of a volt was dropped between the 10% and the 90%. So that's pretty amazing what lithium iron phosphate can do. 
All right, and now we are on to the high amperage test. So let me go ahead and show you what I have going on here. All right, we have our lip pulse battery. We have it wired to a 5,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. That inverter is gonna be powering a new wave induction cooktop. It's gonna be also be powering a uh, griddler, which does around 1,100 watts. Uh, the new wave can do between 600, 900, and 1,300 watts. Uh, we also have a 200 watt heater and a 500 watt heater. And then to monitor the battery, we do have an amp clamp, which will be watching our amperage and the voltage of the battery, just to see what the voltage drop is between all the steps. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is do a 100 amp discharge from this battery for five minutes, just to make sure that it can pull it off without any problems. And then it does say that it can do a 200 amp discharge for three seconds. So we're gonna kind of step it up to 200 amps and kind of see what it does. So let's go ahead and do the 100 amps and I'll let you know what happens after about five minutes. All right, what I've started is the uh, new wave induction cooktop at 900 watts and this 200 watt heater. Let's go ahead and see what those amps are. All right, it should be lowering down a little bit, but the amperage is right around 103, 100, yeah, around 103, 102 amps. So let's go ahead and start our timer. All right, and we'll see what happens after five minutes. All right, well, it has been a little over five minutes and this battery has performed flawlessly. Um, I was just touching it and it is not warm at all anywhere outside of the case. I was gonna put a thermal camera on it, but there is absolutely no reason to. It's been pulling 101 amps this entire time and the voltage is staying steady at 12.73, so that is great. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna see what happens if we introduce an additional 500 watts. All right, 500 watt heaters on. The amperage has now jumped up to over 150 and the voltage is at 12.47. And as you can see, everything is still running just fine. Now this right here is kind of getting to the realm of, I don't like running it for very long at this amperage range <laughs> because this is when the internals kind of start to go over what they're really intended to do. But it's still running at 100, 150 amps. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this heater off and turn on the 1100 watt griddler. So we turn the heater off, 1100 watt griddler, go. This should really shut it down. 227. 230, voltage is down to 12.07. 230 amps, it's still, it's still powering everything. And it says it's supposed to shut off after three seconds. Our voltage is at 12 right now. It's still running it and it's 230 amps. And now we're going on seven minutes and 22 seconds. So it's been a couple minutes. Let's go ahead and turn this heater back on. All right, we're now at 290, 290 amps and this battery is still, still powering it. Uh, voltage is down to 11.69. And you know what? Let's go ahead and cook the wattage all the way up on this. Now we're going over 300 amps. So 324, 325 is the amperage right now. And that equates to uh, the, the inverter says that that's 3000 watts. And it shut off. There we go. And you can tell because the, the battery is down to 2.7 volts, which means that the battery has shut off. Now it does have over amperage protection, but it is not at 200 amps. It's, uh, it's probably over 300 amps. And it ran that for what, 10 seconds, something like that. And the documentation does say that this battery will wake back up after 30 minutes. So that's just so you know. All right, well, I went ahead and woke up this uh, lip pulse battery from its slumber from our high amperage test. It's now back to 13.26 volts. And what I wanna know is does it have a low temperature charging protection? You know, I'm reading the manual and it does say that it has five protections from overcharge over discharge, over current, short circuit, and high temperature. And it doesn't say anything about low temperature. So I'm just gonna go ahead and throw it in my deep freezer for over 24 hours. And then we're gonna try to charge it and see what happens. All 
All right, well, I just pulled out this LaPulse 12 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate mini battery from my freezer. It's been in there for right around 30 hours. So it is nice and frozen. Now it doesn't say anywhere that it has cold temperature charging protection, but I really wanted to check just to make sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it up with this uh, Litime 20 amp lithium iron phosphate charger, and we're gonna see what happens. As you can see right now, this lithium charger is blinking green and that means it's on standby. Now what's gonna happen is I'm gonna connect it up to this battery and if it does have cold temperature charging protection, what's gonna happen is it's gonna go from a blinking green to a solid red and that means that it's charging. But it's only gonna do that for about one or two seconds and then it will go to a solid green because the battery is telling it to shut off. So let's go ahead and connect it and see what happens. All right, here we go. All right, that took way too long. It should only take one or two seconds. So that means that in fact, this battery does not have cold temperature charging protection, which it did not say it did in the documentation. All right, so what do I think of the LaPulse 12 volt lithium iron phosphate 100 amp hour mini battery? Well, if you're looking for capacity and a very small form factor, this might be the battery for you. It came through at like, over 105 amp hours and this thing is tiny it's in a mini form so it's well below the group 24 and way smaller than the group 31 batteries and it only weighs in at like 21 or 22 pounds what this battery doesn't have it doesn't have cold temperature charging protection nor does it say that it does so if you're looking for a battery to use in a cold environment this won't be the battery for you and also it says that it can uh handle 200 amps for three seconds uh, but I pushed it way beyond that and it finally turned off around 300 amps so this thing will give you plenty of power but just make sure you know what you're working with so if you have any questions about the LaPulse 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery please go ahead and leave them in the comments I'll have a link to this item in my description just in case you want to look further into it thank you so much for watching this video and have a great day bye bye